Okay, hello YouTube world. Welcome back. Um, I'm just going to run through some colours. I'm doing that first because I'm not sure what I'm going to do. It's a surprise, even to me. So in here, I have gold. This is mixed with my new pouring medium, which is 70% PVA, 30% water. They're mixed 50-50 with our troll and paint. So that is one part paint, two part pour and medium. And I have here an array, if you can see, of empty bottles. And what I did was I dumped all of these golds in one cup, including the dregs of the 24K Deco Do Deco art one into there to use it all up. I'm fed up of seeing them on my windowsill. Um, and then here I've got the dregs of these two, which is this one's metallic green, emerald green. And this one's sage, and that's giving me a sicky kind of a greeny colour, which. It's going to be in the background, so it's all right. Um, a dark forest green here. Then I have moving over here metallic bronze. There's just a little bit of that in there. Lovely colour. This one is a PBO acrylic paint, all-purpose one, I think that you can use on anything. Haven't used this before. Or I've obviously used the normal PBO ones, but this is a lovely colour. <clears throat> Look at that. I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of pearly and shimmery and lovely. Nice colour. I then have over this side, and go to the other side of the camera. Bordeaux Red, Arteza, there, which is a really lovely red actually. Sarah Mack first started using this I think, well that's how I came across this colour. Really really nice. And this one is mm, Rose Madder. Rose Madder. <laughs> nice bright red. The actually these these little tubes by Arteza, I, I buy the big boxes of acrylic paints. They're really economical because I don't like mixing a lot of paint up at once. And one tube I find actually is is more than enough for what I want to do. Then for the flip cup for the sky, I have pearl white, golden fluids, and I have some more gold which I've, I've added some pearl white to. So I want a goldy, pearly sky. So, I'm going to have a think about what I'm going to do and come back. Okay, I am back. Just put the hairband on. <clears throat> my hair out of the way. Okay, I'm using a Windsor and Newton um, 20 by 50 centimetre canvas, my favourite size, my last one. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six of these in the set now. So, this is what we're going to do. We're working on the rule of thirds, but I'm going to go two thirds with the base colour. My flowers are going to be at the top and my balloon roll. Oh, I forgot to roll up a balloon. A glove, rather. Where are my gloves? Okay, I'm back. I forgot to blow up my balloon, my glove, and that always takes about oh, several goes. So, this is what I'm going to do. Get a new pair of gloves. Can't be bothered to struggle. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going for the rule of two thirds, okay? So, but I'm I'm going 
to the rule of thirds rather so I'm going to use up two thirds or thereabouts normally I'm down here and just use up a third and have lots of um, flip cup for the sky or negative space but for some reason I have it in my head that I want lots of gold I want gold to be the prominent colour so we see how we go cover my fit bit up so I'm going to start off I'm just going to dump this colour at the bottom in with my green at the top I'm only going to have one flip cup this time. Do you know, I really don't feel I know what I'm doing today. It's all a bit weird because normally I've got to have a plan. Ah, normally I have a plan. <laughs> well, as you can see, I'm just doing a dirty cup, dirty flip cup. Is that the right word to use? So I want this to come over that green. So, now we're going to go for the swipes. Actually, I'm going to give that a torch with my flamethrower. Right, where's my gold? Okay, let's give this a go. So, where am I going to come with this? I'm going to come here. I think I'm going to put some purple light gold in there as well. Maybe some pearl. Right, let's see how we go with that, shall we?
see what can I say. My phone rang. I got caught up at work. And <laughs> I came back and my camera wasn't on and I didn't realise. So I didn't tape it. So, so sorry. But look, I ended up putting gold down and with a couple of drops of silicone in. So <laughs> I was that desperate to get some cells, but not realising actually that the gold that I picked up was just the troll. it wasn't the PVA at all. So <laughs> it just proves the point really, doesn't it? But I've got some cells. I've split the cells with a stick to get some leafy patterns. And um, let's just look at those flowers. I've got my red flowers. Knock that green back a little bit with some gold. Yeah, so there we go. There we have it. See how it dries. So, I'm all about showing my work in progress and my mistakes and my journey. I don't profess to be a fantastic fluid artist. I feel as if I'm just beginning to find my feet and find my style. But this kept going, I just kept going. And it's beautiful. I don't know, it's, it's such a bright, hot, sunny day here. But I don't know if you can see the shimmer in this. It's got such a lot of gold. The enhancements. This bit here, I just kept fiddling after off camera, it was actually high flow gold because I didn't like what the silicon was doing in certain places. So I covered it up with high flow. <laughs> And it's got a lot of detail in there. A lot of detail. And the silicon actually worked. One tiny drop, that's all it took. So, <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, am I going to post this video? Am I not? But, do you know what? I'm not going to take myself too seriously. Thanks for watching. Stick with me.